We start off with 210 pumpkins. Our goal is to find the perfect pumpkin, yet every second pumpkin is either too big or too small. Every third pumpkin is too oblong. And every fifth pumpkin is too flat. How many perfect pumpkins are there? Pause the video now and see if you can figure it out. At Sal's Pumpkin Patch, we start off with 210 pumpkins. Our first clue is that every second pumpkin is too big or too small. Our second clue is that every third pumpkin is too oblong. Our third clue is that every fifth pumpkin is too flat. So the perfect pumpkin will have none of these features. Dividing 210 pumpkins by 2 shows us that every second pumpkin would be 105. Every third pumpkin will give us 70 pumpkins. And every fifth pumpkin will give us 42 pumpkins. But now we must consider that there is some overlap. That there might be some pumpkins that are both too big and small as well as too oblong. So now we must count how many pumpkins are both too big or too small and too oblong. Well, this would be the same thing as asking how many are both second and third pumpkins. Two times three gives us six and dividing 210 pumpkins by six gives us 35 pumpkins. So the cross section between those is 35 pumpkins. Too big or too small and too flat would be every second and fifth pumpkin. Two times five is 10 and dividing 210 pumpkins gives us 21. If we consider all three characteristics, two times three times five gives us 30 and 210 pumpkins divided by 30 is seven total pumpkins having all three characteristics. In order to get this straight, how many perfect pumpkins there are, we must organize the problem. And to do so, we're going to use a Venn diagram. So each circle in this Venn diagram represents the condition of imperfection. So one circle is too big or too small, another circle is too oblong, and the third circle is too flat. And you can see that these circles overlap. In the middle, we have seven because there are seven pumpkins that have all three features. Out of the circle that contains 105, that is the too big or too small category, there is some overlap. So there are some pumpkins that are both too big or too small, as well as too oblong, and they would live in this intersection. Now, since there's seven that are all three, how many would that leave us with for just big or small 
and too oblong, but not too flat? And the answer to that is 28. All right, next we'll consider the intersection between too big or too small and too flat. We note that that intersection is a total of 21 pumpkins, but taking away seven that have all three leaves us with 14 that are just too big or small and flat. For the last intersection, we're asking how many pumpkins are both every third pumpkin and every fifth pumpkin so there are a total number of pumpkins that'll be 14 total pumpkins if we divide 15 into 210 so 14 pumpkins would live in that intersection but since there are seven in the middle subtracting we get seven that are just oblong and flat only and not too big or small now it's time to fill in the rest of the circles so in the first circle here, too big or too small, there was a total of 105 pumpkins. And if we subtract away what's in the intersections, we get a total of 105 minus 49, which is 56 pumpkins. So there are 56 pumpkins that are just too big or too small. That's it. Looking at the oblong category and subtracting away the intersection from 70 pumpkins, we get a total of 28 pumpkins that are just oblong. And in the final category, all the pumpkins that are just too flat, there are 42 of them, and we subtract away the intersection, and we get 14 that are just too flat. So let's clear the board here, and let's now try to answer the question, how many perfect pumpkins are there? Can you figure it out? Pause the video now and see if you can deduce how many perfect pumpkins there are. Well, if we consider how many total pumpkins are considered in our Venn diagram, there's 154. Subtracting that from 210 pumpkins leaves us with... That's right, 56 perfect pumpkins. Well, how'd you do? Did you figure it out? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. And have a very safe and happy Halloween.